Now, the Principal Secretary of Youth and Gender Affairs, Sabina Kwekwe, and the CEO National Affirmative Fund, Titus Leto, are in Wajir to oversee the launch of Sanitary Pad Bank for schoolgirls in the northeastern county. Our correspondent, Faisal Abdirahman, is in Wajir for us. He now joins us live with an update. Faisal, good afternoon. What does this really mean for girls in the area? All right, Akisa, I've just, have you just stated Principal Secretary, Public Service, Gender and Youth Affairs, Sabina Kweke, and also CEO, National Government Affirmative Action Fund, uh, Mr. Leto, uh, has, uh, they have just arrived this morning to Wadia County, uh, in, accompanied by Wadia County MP Fatuma Gedi. Uh, they uh, brought sanitary pads and undergarment for uh, girls in this school. Uh, just to give you a brief uh, that this uh, uh, the northern part of Kenya is where uh, girls drop out of school the number of dropout is very high because of a lack of a lack of essential uh, sanitary towels and also a uh, undergarment for ladies uh, the rate of illiteracy is very high the leaders have requested civic education for parents and uh, they have provide they have provided uh, from national government uh, uh, to reach out to 24,000 girls, school-going girls from uh, bracket class 6 to class 8 and also secondary schools. And they've said this means a lot for girls who are uh, going out of, dropping out of school because essentially uh, uh, girls in this part of the region miss classes all in the calendar of the term six weeks uh, without going to school. Uh, with me is just uh, the cabinet secretary. I'll bring her and uh, she will tell us a uh, uh, visit. Today in Wajia County, welcome. I'm Mishima. Thank you very much. Uh, today we are in Wajia County, uh, being one of the counties where we are rolling out the Santa Clara project, primary, public, secondary, and special schools in the country. Uh, of the 3.7 million girls that we are reaching out throughout the country, 34,000 of them are from Wajia County. And this is one of the commitments that the government made uh, in the Basic Education Act, which obligated the government to ensure that uh, students who are uh, in the bracket that require this facility are taken care of by the government and therefore uh, from this year this is another responsibility that we are undertaking at the Ministry of Public Service and Gender on behalf of the government to ensure that girls stay in school, we keep our girls in school and all the girls in the public primary schools, uh, secondary schools and special schools who are in the bracket that require this facility uh, are all going to be reached. Um, so far we've done several counties, so Wajia is of one of those counties. Uh, the day after tomorrow we'll be in Monday county doing the same because this is a, is a commitment that government is uh, uh, holds very dear and we expect that we can be able to ensure the transition rate of girls from primary to secondary and secondary and beyond is indeed improved and that we can have parity in education. Will this be a sustainable program? It is a sustainable program because uh, as we speak today we this program that is touching 3.7 million girls uh, we are doing this at a budget of 420 million Kenya shillings. Uh, the next financial year we budgeted for a billion Kenya shillings just to take care of the girls who are nine plus five to bring them into the bracket of uh, beneficiaries. So it is a commitment that government made and therefore um, one billion Kenya shillings to keep girls in school is a worth investment. Thank you. I'll just bring the CEO of National Government Affirmative Action, Mr. Leto, also who has uh, uh, accompanied the, uh, the peers. Mr. Leto. Uh, well, thank you. I think what we are seeing in terms of the distribution of the sanitary towels to our girls this time is a little bit different from what we used to, be, to see before. The best is that there is a lot of innovation. I think initially what they used to do was uh, the girls used to be given the sanitary towels without education about the same. But now having women reps are actually handling this. They actually are like the mothers, like the aunties of the African society that teaches these girls how to use. What we've seen today here in Wajia is the distribution of the sanitary towels alongside the undergarments. You know, if girls don't have those, sometimes they do not have, and we cannot actually be able to ascertain that they do. Sometimes those sanitary towels were not being utilized properly. But this kind of innovation in terms of teaching and in terms of also giving supportive devices such as thus also helps in terms of the use of these particular sanitary towels. I personally believe that uh, the mode of use this time, the mode of distribution, is actually very good. We are facing challenges in terms of the fastness of some of the counties terms of the traditional and cultural beliefs of some of the counties, but I believe this is something that will continue and education will continue until every other girl in this country will use the sanitary towels and remains. Thank you.
and Akisa uh, accumulatively accumulatively 18 weeks in the calendar of the year that is uh, uh, how how many weeks the ladies are missing out of school because of lack of sanitary pads and this means a lot to the girls who are in the vastest counties of this uh, 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 Wadia, uh, the rural area back to you in the studio